Hi okay, guys, Minos from Hydraulic.online. Just a quick summary on uh, the differences, advantages and disadvantages of two-piece fittings and one-piece fittings. So what we're looking at here is a range of half-inch two-piece hose tails. It's actually a one-piece hose tail. I'll go into the discussions of that in a minute. But these are all hose tails that have a half-inch thread. So they're designed to fit onto a piece of half-inch two-wire hydraulic hose or even half-inch one-wire hydraulic hose. The two-piece comes from the shell or what we call the ferrule. The beauty about two-piece fittings and the advantage about two-piece fittings, it's, it's a bit of a cost and a convenience factor. So this shell, if you were using this two-wire hydraulic hose here, which is our Engimatec two-wire hydraulic hose, you could use this shell on this fitting here, which is actually a an ORFS 16 16 this is an ORFS 13 16 this is a 22 millimeter metric male this is a 22 millimeter metric female half inch BSP taper uh, this is a 7 8 JIC female and this is a 3 quarter JIC female so this shell will go on here on here on here on here on here on all of these tails yeah so you can have a range of tails, but you don't need to keep a bunch of shells for if you had 10 of these and 10 of 10 of each of those, which, you know, there's seven different types here. You don't necessarily need to stock 70 shells. You know, you could keep 30 shells or 40 shells and it's just a little more convenience and a little more space saving, especially if you're in a mobile application. All right. The disadvantages of two-piece fittings are mainly in assembly more than anything else you just need to be a little more careful when you're doing your assembly and I'll show you what I mean by assembly the shell actually fits over the hose first and it's quite easy to tell if the hose has gone all the way there's a little shoulder in there that bottoms out and you then actually, this is your JIC fitting, and then you actually push your JIC fitting on. The important factor with two-piece fittings is that that shoulder there has to lock in there. And you need to ensure that it's all pushed in together before you start your crimping or swaging, which is a machine that actually crushes this shell down under high pressure to a certain diameter what you can what can happen is while you're mucking around or getting it in and out of the fitting you get a scenario like this where you go to crimp and even though it will crimp the machine has the power to actually crimp you haven't actually locked that shoulder there into that groove there that's what you're meant to do and then that actually gets crushed and this becomes a fitting you can't actually pull apart once it's crimped down to the right size. If however you miss and you crimp on the shoulder or you crimp here, even though you reach the right diameter, there's just not enough bite to actually hold this tail from blowing out. So what will happen at high pressures or medium, even medium pressures, I mean, don't forget this is rated to 4,000 PSI, and medium pressures, it will blow this fitting off, all right? So you need to make sure when you're assembling these that the shell is pushed on all the way onto the tail. The shell is pushed all the way in so that you, you can actually see it disappear into that ring. And then when you crush it, as you're crushing it, make sure sometimes you will actually notice this start to move. Yeah, as you start the crimp process, just it's rare, but it does happen. Just make sure that you keep that tail pushed in. All right. So that's a disadvantage, if you like. The advantage really is that you you can physically see when you've pushed the tail in as far as you need to go. All right. You can.
can see that shoulder there hitting that and that won't go any further. With the one piece fittings, first of all, the shell is pre crimped onto the tail. Okay, and the beauty about that is all you need to do is push this fitting onto the hose. It's imperative that you, you make a mark when you push it on so that you know that you've gone on as far as you need to. This is a one piece fitting, yeah, three quarter JIC half inch tail which is the same I mean that's a half inch tail three quarter JIC female half inch tail three quarter JIC female JIC is the thread designation okay uh, quite common here in Australia and in the US so the, the beauty about one inch fittings is there's less chance of assembly area but there is an important thing that you need to consider and that is marking the hose all right so you need to ensure that there's some sort of physical mark on the hose we actually use um, an industrial crayon works quite well gives great contrast on white on black and you then can make sure You've pushed it all the way on before you start your crimping process okay also if things do move during the crimping process you'll have a, a, a physically a telltale mark that actually tells you things have moved essentially you could do the same thing with a two-piece fitting as well all right so as you can see the the engagement depth is very similar yeah on both shelves all right so what holds everything together it's machined teeth or ridges yeah this is actually a gates fitting quite an interesting design as it crushes these two shells internally actually come together and finish off and complete the crimp so what's the disadvantage of one-piece fittings? Generally they're more expensive. They take up more space because you, you've not only got a tail, but you've got a shell with a tail, yeah? And for if you want a range of fittings like we have here, you need to buy 70 of these rather than 70 tails, you know, and a smaller quantity shells or ferrules so basically that's it yeah we sell both types on our web store hydraulic.online uh, these are very cost effective if you're looking for convenience peace of mind and are happy to pay a little more the one piece fittings will do the job uh, if you're looking to save a, a few dollars and if you've got a space limitation, like I said, you're running a mobile vehicle or something like that, and you're looking to save on some space, this is another way to actually do that. The, as an assembly, this is cheaper. This two-piece assembly is cheaper than this one-piece assembly. Hope that clears up what one-piece and two-piece fittings are, guys. Again, available in lots of different sizes uh, these are a two-piece fitting in JIC quarter inch tail that's a 9 16 male JIC that's a 9 16 female JIC designed to connect together when you're connecting long lengths of hose together again same thing variable thread lots of different threads the same shell can go onto this fitting as the same shell can also go onto that fitting you're not having to buy multiple quantities of one piece fitting right but then again if that's what you prefer these are available yep one piece two piece thanks for watching guys more videos coming soon bye for now